ladies and gentlemen, I am in a good mood today. And yeah, sure, the world is definitely very dangerous. And 2021 is wild. Right now, we are getting hit with a geomagnetic storm. And as your planetary defense commander and an American, I'm glad that our government is not going to shut itself down. And I recognize that Mercury is retrograde like tons of the planets. Most of them are retrograde and way out of balance. And so right now people are not going to be able to really get along or communicate well together much. But I do know that there seems to be some tension between France and New Zealand slash Australia and the USA over submarines, which seems to be very Plutonian meets 007. Um, yeah, it's been, we've all been going through a plague together as a planet. We're all in this together for like a year and nine months. And it's got everybody on edge. And so the CME is hitting us in real time. And I will be making videos on it because that is what I do. And especially to kick off a new month, I do a fundraiser every month so I can continue to do what I do, how I do it. And the world is definitely a dangerous and strange place, but the fact that 7 billion human beings are still keeping it together in a civilized kind of a way is pretty magnificent through everything that we've been going through. Yeehaw! All right. All right. All right. I remember when the sun acts weird, earth weather acts weird, and people kind of lose their minds. But I was born during the day, so I'm connected to the sun. So when the sun's happy, I'm usually happy. Just because... You might be in a bad mood. That doesn't mean I can't be in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? But I hope you'll get out of your bad mood if you're in a bad mood as soon as possible. It's way more fun to be in a good mood. This is nuts, science out there. This is from the 24th, which was like almost a week ago, when the, the solar activity has really been gaining. And so we will move this blue dot up because the sun has been going nuts. We got Aurora dances in the house. Hey, dude, they're still saying that... Uh, the James Webb Space Telescope may launch the day before my birthday on an Ariana Grande rocket. So, try not to get too excited about it, but I'm slowly getting excited. Yeah. And remember, I've been doing Thor news for eight years, been your planetary defense commander for 7.5 years. I'm on my third commander in chief, and every single time the whole debt ceiling dance dog and pony show is an ultimate super weird ass clusterfuck. That I'm just like, what the hell? This is such a weird process. But I'm glad that they avoided shutting down their own government. And I don't know why, whenever the military guys and gals eat cake, it makes me happy. So when I saw Scott had tweeted this today, I was like, hell yeah. But that cake was good. Because you know what? It's one thing to bake a cake, but to put that much love and effort into it, I think it makes the cake taste better. Yeah, dude, one of the sunspots is the new X-Flare player in this X-Men class game, USA Global Earth Teamer 2021. So things are about to get rocktober ish or whatever. I think I'm ready to get out of my foxhole more. Oh, yeah, so if you'd like to contribute to Thor News, it would be greatly appreciated. I got to pay rent in like three days, and I really want to go to the ocean. But hey, look at this gorgeous coronal mass ejection shock signature, a wide open, put quotation marks in front of, and after the open place, enhanced magnetic field, red slash black, and densities, orange, close brackets, brackets open, now plummeting after reaching values greater than 40 particles per CM3. Expect wind speeds, purple bracketed, to jump soon to potentially 600 kilometers per second over the next 12 hours. That means it is about to get windy in our upper atmosphere with a whole lot of charged particles, photons, and light coming in, and cosmic rays, I would guess. And so I'll be acting weird, you'll be acting weird, we'll be acting weird. Scott Duncan, sky's coming to life in Scotland right now. Aurora, Aurora's starting to get really good. And when X-Class flares come around, I start to talk about X-Men and X-Women. Uh, in comic books. What's it talking about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so there's a lot of energy happening now. And I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful that I survived September. 
I'm grateful that Asteroid Fight Club has been so good to me. I'm grateful that thousands of people show up every month and enjoy or appreciate my information. I'm grateful that at times I can be cute, charming, and hilarious. You know what I'm saying? So I'm remaining optimistic that 2022 will be a good time to be on Earth. Though the next six months are probably going to be weird. This is a volcano. This is Hawaii. As we're getting a volcano parade and a volcano advent calendar pretty much every month in 2021. It's a little bit of everything. Life, you know. Hey, I heard a strange sound saying largest underwater eruption ever recorded gives birth to massive new volcano under Mayo Ede. Um, looks like a pyramid. Technically, it is a pyramid, but it's a pyramid volcano. Now, let me get the red arrow in there in case you can't find it on your own. All right. Hey, and did I mention I ran into a NASA engineer yesterday? And we both agreed that all the planes and things that fly over our city, Houston's a great place to live or visit. But yeah, go out tonight if you can, because you'll see Jupiter, Venus, the moon, and Saturn in the sky, all bright, same time. It's pretty divine and magical at the same time. And yeah, life has been wild, so I am very glad, you know, that hope still lives. And so even though I got uh, $1,767 left to raise in my October fundraiser to keep Thor News up and running, I'm not going to be worried because I believe I've done a good job and um, you guys appreciate it. What we do we? Uh, I get to uh, make videos every day telling y'all about all the things that are happening. And we try to avoid World War III and prevent civilization from collapsing. The two main charters of Asteroid Fight Club. And, you know, since I've been doing it, we've been doing a pretty good job in more challenging circumstances every single month. I believe I've covered volcanoes about as well as anyone else on the planet publicly over the last eight years. Okay, calm down. I said to myself, USGS, the sun has set on the new eruption within Halu crater at Kilulu's summit. Although people are definitely better at pronouncing show correctly, me than me more. Mercury retrograde, we will be back in early morning with posts here. In the meantime, new images and other info will be posted throughout the night. So yeah, just keeps he heating up. It's lit. Oh, you like hurricanes? You want me to talk about hurricanes? Okay, here we go. Hurricane Man. Now that the main development region season is dwindling in activity, our main focus turns to the Caribbean, as both Titan models show signals down there. And we've been looking out for mid-October for, well, from the 9th through, let's say the 22nd, for really crazy wild weather in the oceans that could or could not concern Main development region players like uh, hurricanes, cyclones, tropical storm, and, and typhoons and cyclones across the planet. But for the USA, we were watching that, and we are seeing signals of some type of weird weather developing in this region. So we're keeping an eye on whatever the hell is going to be bubbling up down here. Right now, we still don't know. Could be good, could be bad, probably be somewhere in the middle. All right, we're hanging in there, and we're keeping it together, and it's Thursday. Today is Thursday. Nora Federal lava flowed from a volcano on the Spanish island of La Palma for a fifth day. Thousands of people have fled their homes as the lava destroys houses, schools, and farms. Yeah, it's dangerous and weird. And we wonder where will the next newest volcano erupt from? Rest in peace, currents, says Brooks Garner. Florida. East Coast beaches north of Jupiter, waves from Hurricane Sam will arrive Saturday by lunchtime and continue through Sunday with four to eight feet breakers and potentially deadly rip currents, ready to dead off Daytona in past week from three foot waves and their rips. So, yeah, if you're going to the ocean, definitely be safe over the next two weeks, man. Maybe play it safe. It, 
tell later, but we'll see. You do you, man, I guess. Shit's on fire, yo. Yep, Matt M. He's the PSU weatherman. Record low moisture and terrain haven't changed. But when you drop the humidity by 30 to 50 percent, the KNP complex became more active overnight. The KNPC complex is the most active fire in the state this morning. The new modern day definition of inflation has been fulfilled. Sign of the times. The dollar store has raised its name to the dollar twenty-five or dollar fifty-ish store. You know, Hurricane Sam is back down to major hurricane strength. The oceans and the atmospheres are very interesting places, and I am very glad that neither of these two hurricanes will be punching us in our faces. TikTok, you don't stop. Can I wow you with these pretty pictures? Maybe. Well, I always say take the weird weather watch up a notch if you get any strange uh, satellite glitches, and that counts. Watch that extra burst of speed. At the end, we'll count that as a glitch. So, yeah, we're watching out for severe weather over Texas and the New Mexico right now. And even down in Houston, we're looking for some rain. And then check out the, the burst in Mexico. Yep, there's lots of interesting stuff happening right now. So I'm just trying to cover it for you in an informative and entertaining kind of a way. And I'm just so glad we made it through September. And thank you, Asteroid Fight Club, for being incredible and awesome. You guys are great. And I appreciate you. And it's so wild that we have a star that rotates around our planet every day and every night, never staying the same, just like our sky. Yeah, that was a pretty good chronal mass ejection, bro. Ooh, baby. And th this is our X-Class candidate, I do believe. Will X-Men women show up in my life in the near future to go play reindeer games? Who knows, man? Wow. There's so much. Yeah, the sun is definitely waking up. There's activity all over this thing. Filaments, solar goblins. You got major tornadoes. You got sun tongues. You got a little bit of everything happening now. Colonel Mass Ejections. Oh, yeah. Pick a spot. The whole place is partying and active and wild. Crazy days. So if good energy comes your way, be sure and use it well and wisely. Oh, there was something. I saw a, uh astrological note that reminded me of an astrological note that said moon in cancer square Aries and Aries is a fight in the sky between the powers that are disruptive for the sake of being difficult. And so not much you can do if people are being difficult just to be difficult. And so that kind of wraps up the spirit of Aries. And remember, we're leading up to the fifth and final two year closing out of the Pluto Aries energy shit. And so a lot of the heiress energy has been people being difficult just because they could be difficult. Like the definition of trolling, the people who are gaslighters, the gaslighters and trolls. It's like two years of gaslighter and troll dominance, misinformation, all that shit. Just trying to get people angry just because people enjoyed seeing people angry, shot in fruit type shit. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't my game, bro. Ever. Yo. I'm not trying to be difficult. I'm always trying to be funny, cool, and charming. It's kind of my thing. Um, But yeah, look at all the planets, dude, are like ganged up over here except for Mars. So it's like Mars, Mars and Aries, bro. This is the sister and this is the brother. And it's a very weird game. It's like Game of Planets, but Earth is in the middle of it all. Can't you see that? And so stay cool. Be a cool Earthling. Team Earth, man. Astro Fight Club. Yeehaw. Yeah, if you'd like to contribute, keep the news up and running for October, it would be super duper absolutely greatly appreciated. And I will do everything I can to bring you as many laughs and as much good information as I can in October. 
and hopefully we will close out this year strong. What are you going to wear for Halloween? Okay, everybody stay cool. And if you want to, you know how to do it because you guys are pretty dang smart. Thank you to Wizard Vaz. Thank you to Mike. Thank you to everybody out there in Astro Fight Club. You guys are incredible. Let's have a good weekend, shall we? Close out September strong and get ready for Rocktober.